the price. This way I'm first. Camping Burke looks. Three, four, four, oh, oh. Oh, it works. Alright, I've memorized the map. I think I'll just go straight forward until at the end. Can't be that hard to find, surely. Oh, it's got air, you can air your tyres up. 338, 341. 348, 347. 345. 344. You could say 344, didn't I? 344, yeah. In the night you wake me up when the sun goes down Feelings right you wake me up when the sun goes down Sleepless nights you wake me up when the sun goes down I can't help it baby not myself when the sun goes down
morning. Just loaded the bike up with a bit of luck. You can actually hear me now. Just found out in the last couple of days there's been a problem with my mic. It's basically, um, you can barely hear a word I'm saying, it's crackling the lot. So that's probably going to be covered with music the first couple of days. But I'm in Germany. I'm in a underground car park in Germany. Just loaded my bike up, ready to hit the road. Day three. Oh, light's gone out. Let's see if we can figure out how to get out of it. The ground's like an ice rink because it's been raining. Exit. Now, do I take a ticket, give a ticket, or put the ticket in? There we go. Bah, 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 bah. I'm going to go to Austria today. I'm going to put a bit of music on, so I think the first part of this is going to be motorway, so it ain't going to be very interesting. So I'll speak to you when it gets interesting. See you later. Morning, guys. Me again. Just thought I'd catch up whilst we're going through some road works. Yeah, it's just been motorway so far. Uh, it looks like we're just about to jump back onto... I've got through the road works, so it looks like I'm about to just jump back onto the motorway now. Beautiful views, oh look. These auto bombs are crazy. You're doing 85, 90, and cars come past you like you are standing still. They must be doing ton 50, ton 60. A lot of the cars, this goes in front of me, it's doing about 40 mile an hour. I can't check into my caravan until 3 p.m. And my certain have records I'm gonna get there at 1.18 p.m. So, even sitting at 70 mile an hour, I'm still going to be about two hours hanging around uh, before I can even get into my uh, caravan. So, and there ain't no rush, look, beautiful scenery. What's the big rush? You're on holiday. Right, I've just had to turn it back on. I don't know if you can see that. In the distance are snow-covered mountains. Unbelievable. Just pulled over for a couple of snaps. Look at this place. I'm we're in Germany here, but only just because I've just been in Austria for like five minutes. Uh, filled up the bike, but the route I'm doing just like just crosses an Austrian border. But this is actually Germany. But look at it. It's absolutely insanely gorgeous. I'm on this road for 12 miles as well. Lucky boy. Lucky boy indeed. Just got a couple of heavy pictures. What a change of scenery, eh? It's all starting to make sense now. That whole day yesterday and... And, um... That whole day yesterday and, uh... The day before, the first day, sitting on those motorways. Starting to pay off now. Hopefully I've got some audio. Otherwise I'll be talking to myself all day like I've been for the last couple of days. I'm in Germany still and it's still goddamn beautiful. I've got 128 mile left to do today. Uh, done about 100, 110. Pretty easy day. I mean it's easy when the views are like they are. I could do a 15, 16 hour day on these sort of roads in it with these sort of views. Green means go. Loads of bikes. Loads of bikes up here in there. This is bike territory. I would tell you where we are, but I can't pronounce what it says in the screen. Hop, hop, rust, hop, stodas. Wherever it is, huh? It is worth a visit. Look at that. Wow. Look. When are you going to see scenery like that? Probably be seeing a lot of this, but very different to what I've been seeing in the last couple of days and to what I've ever seen in England. Still in Germany. Munchen. Do have a bit of munchen. Starving. Bad tolls. I think I just went for it. Is it bad tolls? As you can see by my screen. It's been an absolute insect massacre today. I've killed thousands of insects. 
one just hit me in the throat. I got one little gap in my coat, uh, just underneath my helmet. And there's a tiny gap, probably an inch by an inch, where my exposed throat is. And a uh, insect hit it. It was like getting hit in the throat like, by a stone or something. Craziness. But I've now got 96 miles to go. Uh, I must not be far off the Austrian border. Need to purchase a vignette or vignette or whatever it's called. I mean, I could probably make it to the campsite easily without feeling on the bike, but I need to go in the petrol station anyway. And I need to clean my visor. It's got about 35 insects on it. It's been absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The roads are gorgeous roads. Jedling is a town I've just gone into for reference. But this whole area here, literally the last two hours of my ride today have been breathtaking scenery. Birch Bidjil, the weather has been gorgeous. It's 28 degrees at the moment. It's been basically wall to wall sunshine. Fingers crossed it keeps out like this. Because uh, it will be amazing if it stays like this. Motorway, back on the motorway by the sounds of it in a minute. I have to turn around. Do I want to turn around? Look at this road. I took the wrong turn in then. What a beautiful little road. Motorway. Motorway, motorway. See that? That's an auto barn sign. I'm not sure if filming is legal in Germany. I'm guessing it is because this guy um, up in front of me is filtering. Taking his time. The old boy. At least we're moving through traffic, huh? Come on, mate. The German not filtering. It's like a hotter version of my commute home with better scenery. This ain't very interesting viewing, so uh, I'll come back to you. I think I'm in Austria. Never saw Welcome to Austria sign, but I am in Austria by the looks and the feel of it. Very much feels like I'm in Austria. I've had to lose my gloves, basically. They were killing the ends of my fingers, and it is hot. It's 28 degrees at the moment, and I'll lose my jacket shortly as well. I've got 48 miles to go. I'm going to be at my campsite at about 10 past 2 which is better than when I've set off because I've stopped for loads of photos and stuff like that because you can't actually uh, get into the caravan until 3 o'clock so I've only got about 40-45 minutes so like wow 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 it's a paraglider isn't it? beautiful doing the Grossglockner High Alpine Pass tomorrow and then punching it down to uh, Ljubljana in Slovenia and the day after I'm riding down to the island of Pag in Croatia and I'm there for two nights exciting times look ski lifts ski lifts I've rode to a place where there's ski lifts insane mate mind you there's probably ski lifts in England isn't there and I don't think it's a ski lift really Ski lifts are the ones you dangle your legs out of, I think. They call the ground soaking wet. But look, the sun's out. It's 24 degrees. They must have just had a downpour. Well, luckily, I dodged that one as well. Fingers crossed. So I can keep my dodge streak going. Speechless. But I've got a river by my right hand side. River by my right hand side. Snow capped mountains to my left hand and a long tarmac road in front of me. What more could you ask for, eh? Speechless. Absolutely speechless. Look at this. Look at the size of that thing on my windscreen. It's like a hornet. Insanely long tunnel I'm in. 
I've been in it for about 10 minutes so far. It's just never ending. It's, it still reckons there's one and a quarter miles. I don't know if that's of this tunnel left or what. Must be going underneath uh, a mountain or something. Impressive bit of uh, engineering to build something like this. Ball cam wall for glut. Happy days, I'm here. Well, where's the reception? Where's the reception? Oh, I stumbled onto that one, look, Euro Camp. Euro Camp. Right, I'm in room 27. Let's play the find in your room game. Let's play the find in your room game. Down there? Down there. So these are Euro Camps. Euro Camp 27 I'm looking for. But, 29, 28, 27. Morning. Just leaving the campsite. Tank of petrol, at least. Exit. Exit, exit, exit. Here we go. Right, we're doing gross glotten today. It's early on a Monday morning, 7.43. We've got hopefully the best road that I'll ride coming up. Continue. Will my bike start? Yes. Wow. Gorgeous. Tunnel coming up. 30. Got dark visor on. Can't see anything. My bike's actually reading 15 degrees air temperature. Well, I just stopped at the top. There was a sign saying it was 9. 8 degrees. Whoa, what's this? Go on, mate. It's like a little uh, beaver or something. Someone's got to run over. Suicidal beaver. Ain't a beaver, is it? Like, is it like a gopher? I don't know. Whoa, this is a sweet one. Cost 26 euros to do this road. Oh, it's just popped. This is like proper steep this. Proper steep. Probably don't come across on the GoPro if it never does. Maybe it'll give you a perspective. Probably like a one in six. Oh, there's a proper pot now. Proper pot. That's it, I think. Ross block now completed, I think. Yeah, there's a the barrier. That's good. Just pulled over. Look at this. A waterfall. Beautiful. Nice lake. A gorgeous waterfall. Let's see if we can get the old thumbnail. Beautiful. Right, let's get back on the road. There's always one. Goodbye. Not quite my tempo. Working my way along. Uh, 139 mile left to do today. Already done the Grossglockner Pass. Uh, I'm heading towards Slovenia. Should be interesting. I've heard Slovenia is a beautiful country. But I suppose once you've seen this, it's all country. How much 
much better can it get, you know? Can it get much better than this? Dolstack. Where am I? Telling me I'm saying I've turn right, turn left. It's not, there's no turning, so this is a road. This is the same road. I've oh, got a few hairpins coming up. All good practice to Stelvia. Roadworks. Some tight old corners here. Had to go down the first gear then. What a hidden gem I've stumbled on here. Didn't even know I was doing this today, whatever this is. Imagine going up there. Look at this person. Cycling up here. Crazy. Crazy man. 118 mile left. Peak. Peak pass. Under stress. Under stress. Pick and pass. Pick and pass. Oh right, this is a pass. Pick and pass. Bunden stress. Looks like it says. And it is the B110. I think that says. My eyes are shot to bits. I can't read that, but I think it says the B110. In Austria. Austria. 104 mile remaining. We're just pulling into Kirkback in Austria. I think there's a boulder coming up soon. Yeah, I can see on my sat nav it says there's a boulder. A couple of warnings away is a boulder. I ain't gonna get petrol off the got half a tank. It's 25 degrees Celsius. And it's 10 17 in the morning. Beautiful weather. Trebedorf. Tres Trestorf. Can't see no bugs on the lens. Slovenia, as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. Look at it. it, gives Austria a run for its money, except the road surface is far better in Austria than what I've experienced so far. You can't knock the scenery at all. I've been changing my GoPro battery, this is too good. One everyone's missing here. I had a dead GoPro battery and I'm going around this crazy little road in Slovenia. I'll keep this on for a bit. There's no road markings at all. They're completely potholed. There's no traffic on them, are they? They're like, talk about in the middle of nowhere. It's absolutely roasting as well. 27 degrees. Look at that. Brezje, Brezje, B R E Z J E is where I am. I've got a feeling this isn't the main road. It's the slight feeling. If it is, I officially love Slovenia. If this is the main road to look down I love Slovenia anyway, but. Great little road though. Exactly 28,600 k's on my bike. Got some road works. Oh, and we're officially off road. Got the right bike for it. Turn right here. There we 
go. Back to some sort of civilization. Turns out that last road weren't the main road to Love Joanna. Uh, I think this one is. Funny enough, it's called the A2. It's a bit better than the A2 that I know in England. Oh, it's 29 degrees. My hands are probably getting burnt. I'm here. I'm trying to find my hotel now. It says it's uh, on the 800 yards. It's on my right hand side. I mean, I'll come off, I'll come off here then, I suppose. <laughs> it didn't bother to tell me to come off. I haven't reached my destination, have I? This is my destination, apparently. Funny looking hotel, isn't it? 34D. Hey, hotel. I'm officially using my phone as a sat nav. A sat nav? I mean, it got me near enough here. But it couldn't find anything. I wonder if there's a problem with the maps. Uh, you don't need to download a new map pack or something. For uh, Slovenia. Can't see anything on there. Straight on. It's a left hander coming up, I think. Is that it? Yes. It's going to be on my right hand side coming up here somewhere. Are you hotel? There is literally a hotel. Morning. Hopefully, you can hear me this time. I've just looked at the footage I got yesterday. Well, I'll say I just looked at it, I looked at it last night. By the way, I'm in uh, Slovenia, I'm just about to leave. I parked in their garage last night. But I just looked at the footage that I got. And even after changing the mic, I'm still having problems with the audio. It's almost pointless. I'm ending up with worse audio than what I would have if I didn't even have an external mic on. What day is it? Five? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I've actually swapped GoPros now. I'm using the GoPro 3. Hopefully the audio is working on it. Don't know which way to turn. Let's go. It's a left turn, isn't it? Come on, man, come on. Not a good start, it's actually a right turn. I can feel a U-turn coming up. Always a great start of the day when you take the first turn in you make is the wrong turn. Yeah, but hopefully you can hear me this time. This stupid clicking and crackling through the mic. It's doing my head in. It's got man. If the audio is bad again today, I'm just going to give up with the mic and just record footage because at least you get engine sounds in. Eh? At the moment, I'm not even getting the sound of the bike. Slovenia, it's beautiful this morning, it's 23 degrees. Pag looks like it's where I'm going, Pag in Croatia, it looks like it's going to be baking, baking hot 30s. But then tomorrow, it's thunderstorms, so we'll see how we go. I'll speak to you in a bit anyway, don't want to waste all the battery. Planina in Slovenia. That's what I'm just about to enter. Quite an interesting looking church, so uh... Oh this must be a learner. Look. Well I think it's a learner. Got an L right on the top of it. Mind you. In Slovenian. I don't know what it, learner translates to might begin with an X. Anyway, interesting little town. I've been riding for about 45 minutes or an hour. About an hour, I suppose. Been riding. Got 135 miles left to do today. It's going to be a slow sort of paced day, I think, because it's 10 o'clock in the morning now. It reckons I'll be there at 2. So, 
four hours to do 134 miles. A lot of these roads here that I'm on at the moment are a 30, or I say a 30, they're a 50 kilometer an hour road, which is a 30 mile an hour. But beautiful little, look, imagine living here. You'd, you'd pay millions of pounds for houses like this in the UK. Look at them. Beautiful houses. I think this is definitely a learner. The car's got extra mirrors on it. I don't like to pressure these learners, even in the UK, let alone in Slovenia. Mind you, they got lovely quiet roads to learn on, isn't it? I always think about the UK. It's a lot harder in the UK. The roads are so busy everywhere. There was a sign there, literally a motorbike leaning over with his knee down, with a cross for it. Basically saying, don't get your knee down. Even though, look at it on here, looks like it's gonna be one hell of a road. Might have to overtake, maybe in a second. So yeah, set a sign again. Still in Slovenia, 117 mile left to do today. A nice ride so far this morning through lots of these little towns. They're all like the photographer's dream. Oh, I'm taking one picture though. Because I haven't really seen a point where I thought, do you know what, I'm gonna pull over here and take some pictures. Even though there's been some fantastic looking buildings. I think this is very much a similar sort of look to what Croatia is going to be. Great roads, but you have to watch out. I was going around one of these corners, it's quite a tight bend, I was going around it at quite a bit of speed, and it just halfway around the corner, it just turned to gravel. Only for like, obviously doing some work on the ground or whatever, only for like a couple of metres, but it was right on the corner. Made the old, uh, tighten up a bit. I hate to come around there with my knee down on a sports bike. But a lot of the roads are beautiful like this, look. Gorgeous, gorgeous roads. Simbije. A lot of these signs telling you what, what speed you're doing. What you have to remember is, when you go into these towns, a lot of them ain't um, got a sign. So like, for example, in England, you would go into a town and there'd be a sign saying like 30. You don't get that out here. All you get is a sign when you cross into the border. And it says like built up areas, 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, and as soon as you're out of that area, look, you'll see a sign like this, which is the name of the town with a cross for it. As soon as you're out of it, it turns to a 55 mile an hour speed limit, like uh, whatever that works out to, 90 or 100 kilometers an hour, but you don't get a sign saying like 100 kilometers an hour or whatever. Up there is either Croatian border or a toll road of some sort. I think I'm in Croatia. I think I'm in Croatia. Let's find out. Let's find out, man. There's a picture of a car. Passports. Passport. I'm entering Croatia, hopefully. Hello. Thank you. That's that. Now what's this part? A toll? There you go. Thank you. Oh, I'm in Croatia. Croatia! Let's go! In Croatia. Literally. I'm riding my motorbike in Croatia. I rode it here from England, in Kent. And look, there's the sea. There's literally the ocean right there. The Adriatic Sea. 
What if I close this lane off on the left hand side? Something's pouring out of this thing in front of me, is that? It's leaking fuel, I think. Can't smell anything. Scooter dude! A few things I've noticed about Croatia so far is... Let me close that, because you might not be able to hear me. A couple of things I've noticed about Croatia so far. The standard of driving has dropped dramatically. People were doing some dangerous manoeuvres. None of them indicated. People were overtaking around bends. Yeah, so the standard of driving has dropped a lot. And one thing I do like, what they do, is they literally don't care about, none of them care about speed limits. I mean, look at this. This is there. Uh, uh, 60 kilometers an hour. I'm doing 80. Everyone in front of me is doing 80. They don't care in the slightest about the speed limits. Which leads me to think that the, the old Bill don't really care. Back then I was doing 85. In what you can see is a 60. No overtaken. Someone overtook me. So even if you're doing 25 kilometers an hour above the speed limit, people will still want to get past you. The only thing is, at this pace, I'm going to be well early at my Euro camp because oh, I'm doing 25 kilometers an hour over the speed limit, constant. It is mega hot here at the moment. It is 32 degrees Celsius, according to my bike. I'm about that far away from uh, pulling over and taking off my jacket. I haven't bothered with my gloves today. Classic Croatia, look at all the orange roofs. Absolutely beautiful. I'm uh, just plumbing it down the Adriatic Coast Road in Croatia. What a beautiful road. I'm doing 48 in a 30. And there's people trying to overtake me. I mean, their, their road, the speed of these roads is far too low. It should be a lot higher. Look at this. Beautiful. This should be like a 55 or 60 mile an hour road. Easily. But instead it's a 30 or a 35. Right, a bit of an update. I'm in a t-shirt now. Just pulled over here to get some photos. Palencia National Park, 115 kilometers. All right. Let's go. Beautiful roads. So the only thing that lets this road down is the amount of traffic on it. Someone on a boat right out there by themselves. Certainly, uh, if my tyres were squared off, they're certainly getting rounded back at the moment. It's just beautiful, left, right, left, right. Not that horrible first gear hairpins. First gear, second gear, first gear, second gear, second gear, third gear. And I'll tell you what, if there were no traffic on it, this would be my favourite road that I've been on for a lot of these Croatians. This is their commute to work on this road. They literally commute to work on this road. Insane. You sort of become immune to it. I mean, I've seen so many good views in these last five days uh, throughout Europe, but even every corner I go around now, even no matter how spectacular it is, it's a... Uh, Still not flabbergasting me. Don't get much better than this. I'll tell you what, I ain't seen a lot of petrol stations. I'd like to see a sign for one. Fear not. I don't need petrol anyway, but. Coming up towards the ferry. Prisoner. Here we are. Going 
going down there to get a ferry. I need somewhere to pull over. There's my money's in my coat. My money's in my coat. I have to buy a ticket. It's the island of Pag over there, I think. I don't even know how much the ticket is. Jadralina, 100 metres. There goes one there. Tickets. pulled up, just bought a ticket for the ferry, but it's not till three o'clock, so I have to play the waiting game. It's only half one now. And we're off. We're on the island of Pag in Croatia. Beautiful, look at it. Feel a cold beer coming on. A cold beer or ten. It's like it's like being on the moon. With a tarmac road running through the middle of it. Crazy thing is, I just got a ferry. I'm at the uh Port the other side. And what pulls up? An Africa Twin. Africa Twin and a GS pull up. And I thought, that's crazy. I've literally not seen an Africa Twin since I left England. I've not seen one. And it pulls up right next to me at the, uh, at the port. Then, the unbelievable thing happens. Ten minutes later, what pulls up? Another Africa Twin with an 1190 Adventure. So, there's five bikes at the ferry pole and three of them are Africa Twins. Oh man, there's an off-road in here. All left. in the find the caravan game again. It's not going very well so far. I think maybe that was it. Seven. That's what we're looking for. I think that's me. Esprit six. Morning. On my campsite in Croatia. Just 
just going to go get some petrol and have a little look around. I don't even need petrol, but I'm going to go have a little look around. Go have a little look around Pag. Because why not? Here we go! Let's go have a nose around the island of Pag. Should have brought a coat. Uh, it's 27 degrees at the moment. So not too shallow. Look at that view. What's down here? Check out this road. That's a photo if ever, if ever I've seen one. No way. Gonna have to be on the phone. I've left my memory card out my camera. I've got no route planned, so I'm just gonna wing it. Have a look around, you know what I mean? What is this? Bottled. Gonna bottle that one. Novolgia. I won't be going down there really, do I? Trying to find the sea. No entry. No entry. I'll give up. Unless there's a left turn enough here somewhere. I think I found the water. There. I want to get a picture by the water, but that ain't gonna happen. Let's head back towards Pag. Right, Titi Ho. Righty Ho. Supposed to be sitting on the beach, but I'm out exploring on the uh, on the Africa Twin. Because why not? Let's go. A lot of people are probably looking at me thinking, who's this idiot in a t-shirt and shorts? But you know what? I ride my motorbike 365 days a year. Through all weather conditions. Sleet, snow. I put on my motorbike gear every day. And I commute to work. Even if it's snowing, it's sleeting. Freezing cold, pitch black. So, I'll get two weeks holiday a year. I'm on my motorbike, I've rode to Croatia. I'm not gonna be wearing my motorbike jacket. I don't care what anyone says. I'm just not gonna do it, mate. I'm on holiday, I need to get tan. I don't see a lot of sun where I'm from. I a storm in the distance. Gonna go back and see what that was. There was a right turning up here. It looked like it went down towards the sea. Now go check it out. What is this place? Barriers down here. Barriers. Nothing there. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. Cheers. Reminds me of America, that look. Route 66. I know it's that way. My sat nav can't find the place, but I think there's only one road. Look, 10 kilometers. Camped in the village of Simuni. It's full of the signs. Sat nav's a rogue array, anyway. Look, this is so much like uh, Route 66 in America, this road. Proper reminds me of it. Like New Mexico or something like that. Oh no, it was up here. 
I remember this long loop in the road. Check it out. Couple of snaps. Whoa, look at this. No words, mate. No words at all. That was a marina Samuni, which is the marina, which is down there. That one, it. I've got a feeling it's here. Camping Samuni. Morning. Just about to leave the island of Pag in Croatia. Heading towards uh, Italy. Third time lucky. 209 miles to do today. It's really windy. This is going to make for fun on the uh, coast road. I wonder whether the ferry is has been cancelled because of the wind because it is absolutely howling hopefully I don't ride all the way to the ferry to find out it's been cancelled and I've got a feeling it's 7.41 I don't think I'm going to get to the ferry in 20 minutes and buy a ticket there's a ferry that leaves at 8 o'clock and it's f then it's half 9 hopefully I can make the 8 o'clock one Let's see how this wind treats us whoa Jesus, it is windy, brother. It is windy as hell. Gonna have to keep an eye on this. Whoa! Gonna have to be very alert with this wind like this. That was one of the windiest rides I've ever had. How much for a ferry? Extreme wind. This is going to be one hell of a crossing. One hell of a ferry crossing. Look at it. Insane. Insane weather. Insane. Might have to abandon this coast road. If it's, if it's the same over here. It's just going to be suicidal otherwise. End up in the drink. <laughs> End up in the ocean over there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was one hell of a crossing. Thinking the wind's going to be horrendous this side. The only hope really is that the further I get down the road, the better the wind starts to ease off. Other than that, I'm going to have to abandon this coast road because it's just going to be too dangerous. Try and get on a motorway inland. Feels not too bad at the moment. Spoke a bit too soon then. It's getting worse. Oh, 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 oh. Cool. Didn't have to turn around that corner. Got blown around it. Here's where it's dangerous. Go around his head. It's trying to blow you the other way. This battery's got to last me the whole day. So see you later. Hello. Bit of an update. I'm still in um, Croatia. The wind is still terrible, as you can see. 50-50 chance of me making it down that coast road, that first bit. It was wind was so bad, I couldn't even turn the GoPro on. It couldn't take my hands off the balls. I've got 138 miles left to do today. So not too bad of a day. Could be worse, could be raining, or it could be at work. Oh yeah, and Croatians are terrible drivers. They will overtake 
dangerous situation. A little while ago back there, I had to get on the brakes because there was a geezer overtaking about 15 cars in front of me. And he was just sitting on my side of the road coming towards me. I'm in, uh, in Croatia still, Permani. The wind's finally died down a bit. So I thought I'd have a little chat. Just cruising along, I've got some music on. I've got 110 mile left to do today. A lot of it looks like it's on quite slow roads because it's 11 o'clock and it says that I'll be at my campsite at half two. The roads must be quite slow. GSs. How many GSs have I seen since I left the UK? Now there's a question. Hundreds. I've seen about five Africa Twins as well. Three of them I see at the same time. Sorry, two of them rocked up when I was at a, a ferry crossing. I was salt over my screen. When I was on the ferry, it was blowing up like a swell off of the ocean, onto the ferry. Just everything covered in salt. Nasty stuff. Look, I'm not sure how much longer I'm in Croatia. Sooner or later I have to cross the border again. They've actually got a border. Even though it's an EU country, you've still got to stop and show your passport. And I'm back in Slovenia. I'm back. Stuck behind a lorry at the moment. Not sure how long I'm in Slovenia before I cross into Italy. I've got exactly 100 mile left to do today, which isn't too bad at all. I've just crossed the border into Italy. And all of a sudden, there's a sign that says Italia. Italia, grazie, ciao numero uno, por favore, por favore, this is my eighth country so far on this trip, I'm in Italy for the next three days and then I'll cross into Switzerland for three days, then France for a day and then I'm on my way home, Italia, ristorante, I'm in Italy. Not very scenic so far. A lot more traffic on the road than some of the other countries I've been in. It's to be expected. I'm quite near, look, quite near uh, Venice. I'll say there's quite a lot of traffic. There's hardly any traffic, but some of the other countries I've been in, there's been literally zero traffic. I can see, I can see some mountains over there in the distance. That would have blown my mind a week ago. But, my mind's already been blown by that one. Got 50 mile left to do. All right. Not seen a lot today because there ain't been a light in it. I've not even pulled over and taken a photograph. So hopefully it's something decent to look at the campsite. It's all very much just been these little towns. Got 29 mile to do. Let's have a look at a river. We're literally just gone into a town called Annas. A-N-A-S, Annas. Still in Italy. Scenery's improved. See the mountains just over there. You probably won't ever see them on the go for a bit too far, but... We are 22 mile away from my campsite. It's 27 degrees Celsius. It's 1.40 p.m. And I'm doing 83 kilometers an hour. Whatever other useless information you want to Jetalo, Venezia, Venice. Check this road out. Just heading down towards Jetalo. Beautiful little road. Quite a tight little road. Look at that. Starting to feel very Italian. Look at it. I don't know what river that is, but that looks like a good little trail down there. I wonder if we can get down there. What is that? A net? A giant net there. It's obviously a fishing thing they drop in and then raise it. Imagine living out here. Look at that. Imagine owning that house. It's that time again. Let's play find the room. Let's play find the caravan. Two eight for each. He said. Oh look. It's 
satisfy a bit. These are Euro camps. Two seven four. Seven nine two eight six eight five. Eight four. Eight three. Morning. Moment of truth. Just leaving my campsite in on the Adriatic in Italy. On my way to Lake Garda. Should be interesting. I'm leaving this. Yeah, okay. Goodbye Adriatic. Goodbye camping Waikiki. 117 miles to do today, which is pretty weak. But it says it's going to take a good four hours going over this bridge here. Yeah? Left and around about. Over there, isn't it? Beautiful road. That runs along a river, look. Yeah, 117 mile. Reckons I'm going to be at Lake Garda at about half 12. 20 to 9 at the moment. So, must be quite slow roads today. I found in Italy though, a lot of the roads, they should have higher speeds a lot of these roads. Because you find a lot of them are 30. When really, they could easily be national speed limit. Turn the right, 500 yards. Must be this one. Not a lot happening at the moment, guys. I think it's going to be one of those sort of days where there's not a lot of interesting stuff to see. Unfortunately. Maybe when I get to Lake Garda, there might be something to look at. I'm just going through a lot of like little Italian towns. Traffic's quite busy. If this was any other day or if I was anywhere else, I'd be looking to uh, filter past all these cars. But I'm already going to be two and a half hours early to my campsite, so I've got plenty of time. I might as well spend it plodding along in traffic, eh? It's 25 degrees Celsius today. It's 9.31 in the morning. I've got 84 mile left to do today. Already done about 30 or 40 mile. But it's just been motorways and nothing to look at, really. I've been playing a game with myself, trying to speak Italian. Prezzi cazzo! Prezzi cazzo! When I, when I see the signs, I'll try and pronounce them in Italian. So what's this one, this blue? Vicenza! Vicenza! Municipio! That one was terrible. I think it'd be good to do a bike trip in somewhere like Sicily. Like old, old town looking. We got a few speed cameras out here in Italy. Oh yeah, look, that was a speed camera. Weird. Nothing like our speed cameras. They're just like a box on the side of the road. Watch out for that. I think tomorrow might be an underrated day of my trip. I end up in Stelvio, the town. So I'm heading towards the mountains tomorrow. From Lake Garda up towards the mountains. An underrated little trip, especially the second half of it. I don't see a, a lot happening on this day, and I always knew this day was going to be a bit boring because I had 100 miles to do inland towards Lake Garda. I thought I'd uh, spice things up slightly by doing it through the towns. Every day can't be fantastic, you know? Can't be doing an Adriatic coast road every day. Look at that, that's a nice looking like, Italian, old Italian building, isn't it? You're welcome, darling. The ciao! When I got to my campsite, I was trying to check in and she could not understand the word I was saying. So she gave me a bit of paper and a pen and asked me to write it down, like my address. And I wrote it down and she couldn't even read my writing. So I've got terrible handwriting. Terrible. She couldn't understand me. She couldn't read my writing. Luckily I found a uh, document with my address on it that I gave to her and she covered it off of that. But, but they do struggle with understanding me. Uh, speak poor English anyway I suppose. That's an impressive looking building. 
Municipio. Municipio. I don't know what building that is, but it's quite impressive. It's a nice little town. It feels Italian. Look, people carrying boxes. Old ladies riding bicycles. Just checking in, guys. 60 mile remaining. Just been on these motorways really all day. <laughs> Terrible road surface. And there's speed cameras everywhere. Really have to keep your eye on your speed around here. Either that or I've just picked a road that is like speed camera centre. Who's that geezer doing there? Flurry was on the wrong side of the road. Right, watch this. I bet this guy don't turn left in this lane in front of me. He's in the turn left only lane. Let's see how many of them don't turn left. There you go. One, two, three, three of them in the turn left lane, not turning left, Italian drivers, eh? I've just witnessed a guy indicating right and going left in the outside lane of a roundabout, around the whole roundabout whilst indicating right, unbelievable, they roughly stick to give way to the left, they roughly stick to that. Verona, that'd be the one. Verona! That's where I'm going, that's where Lake Garda is, Verona. The time is BAM! No, that's the temperature. 30 degrees, it's 11.09. Coming towards a roundabout, which don't exist according to my sat-nav. Must be a new one. I'm guessing that we're supposed to be going over here. Well guys, we've got 26 mile left today. The accumulation of miles is uh, taking effect. I'm feeling it, definitely. The seat is well overrated. Look at that, or I'm just being a pussy. Bit of both, probably. This geezer carried enough, enough stuff on this bicycle. Watch. Been out doing a big shop. It's handy when you get these warning signs out there. And uh, you ain't got a Scooby-Doo, what it even says. There's been an accident, I think. Going onto a motorway here, I think. Motorway! I think this is just going to put me back on that same road again. And we're on a motorway. Quite confusing though, the way. Look, you've got a lane running that way, a lane running that way, that way, that way. Italia. Some uh, severe traffic here in Italy. Traffic is literally all over the place. I don't know why. If there's been some sort of accident or something. I can make it. You can do it. Nice bit of lane discipline, guys. Like to see a nice bit of lane discipline. Well done. These these Italians don't like filtering. I can make this. I can make that. Can't make that one. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Move over for me. Wake up. Look, he's got his headphones in. Oh, I win. Aaron wins. All right, what's caused this accident then? Caused all this traffic. Policia. Spillage of some sort. The jet just went over the top of the head. We're officially at Lake Garda. Or Lago de Garda. Ciao. Oh, there was Lake Garda. Just caught a glimpse of Lake Garda. Now we have to find our campsite. It's around here somewhere. Can't even remember what it's called. Camping Casano or something? Laziz. Half a mile, we reckon, isn't it? We are two hours, 45 minutes early. Better to be early than late, huh? Right? Not really in this case, actually. Ho hopefully I can get signed in early. This is it here, isn't it? Camping Kisana. Right. 
Apparently the reception's over the other side of the road. So come out here, turn right and turn left up there. Apparently it's up here somewhere. Is this it? Dunno. Might be. Only one way to find out. Morning. I'm at Lake Garda. Just about to set off. Bike's still doing that strange thing where it cuts out. I didn't recall coming in here yesterday because I was actually being chased by the person on the gate because apparently you're not allowed to take bikes into this park. God knows why. And I just rode in here. Bye bye. Yeah, I just rode in here and uh, and I see her out the corner of my eye. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Chasing after me. I just carried on riding into the park. She's out of breath halfway down, turned around. I jumped off the bike, locked my bike up, went into the caravan and I was off. Everyone else is parking their cars outside their caravans. You're saying no motorcycles allowed? I must leave it out the front. <laughs> yeah, right, eh? I just loaded up my bike and just rode straight into the park. I thought, she can't kick me out once I'm there. And she didn't. Got 140 miles to do today. Anticipating a nice ride. So I'm heading up towards the Alps now. Uh, Stelvio. I'm not doing the pass today, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm staying in the town of Stelvio. Not sure what day is, I think it's Saturday. Petrol. Alright, I'm going to stop for petrol anyway because I'm running low. Do you want to join me on this experience? It's actually in Italian, so... Let's go to a petrol station, I understand. Don't understand that one. Hello guys! I've only been on the road for about 8 or 9 miles and it's already turned to this, look. Riding next to a river through this mountainous terrain. No traffic on the road. Absolutely gorgeous! My advice if you're doing a trip like this, avoid the Lake Garda part. Just go straight up to the walls of mountain because it is absolutely stunning up here. No words at all. Look at this scenery. Look at it. I'm on the SS12 road heading towards the Alps. And oh my god, what a gorgeous road, what a great road, look at it. Long winding bends, fast road, beautiful scenery. Hardly any traffic. This is the advantage of doing things first thing in the morning. All the traffic's down there on the motorway. You can smell water. This is a great road. You know it's going to be a good road when you start seeing loads of bikes on it. I've got a full tank of petrol now, I've just filled up back in that last town. So I'm good for the day I reckon. It's Sunday tomorrow. I'm doing Stelvio Pass and it's Sunday. So I'm thinking petrol might be a bit hard to come by. Because they're quite relaxed on the Sundays in Europe. Keep left, keep left, keep left. A bit more traffic on the road. There's loads of bikes out. It's a Saturday and they're all heading up towards the uh, towards the Alps. I've got 86 miles left to do today. It's 9.46 in the morning at the moment. I'm on the SP235. There goes the old Bill. Italy loves the speed camera, I'll tell you that now. They're just these little boxes on the side of the road. I'll tell you what is a really popular bike at the moment, a 1290 Super Duke. I've seen the hundreds of them on this trip. Mind you, part of the trip, part of my trip was through Austria. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? That's why you go to work every day. Imagine living here. Imagine having one of those houses up there in that mountain. Joke, mate. Thank you, Squire. These cars are going pretty slow in front of me. Just went straight past 
ska upp i åren åt henne. Jag tänkte att det är inte är legal. Varför man är med det där kommer jag över. So the air temperature just drops. As soon as you come out, out of that sun into the shade, you can feel the cold wind. Must be the wind coming off the Alps. Definitely not t-shirt weather. It's 22 degrees in the sun today, which is t-shirt weather, but I'll tell you what, it ain't in the shade. It sounds pretty mean in the tunnel, doesn't it? Wow, you monster. Keep left, keep left, keep left. Doing my head in, telling me to keep left, I know. And stay on this road. 37 mile left to do today. Look at the scenery. Beautiful. It's a shame, I haven't been able to get a lot of photos today. Well, I say a lot of photos, I've not been able to get one photo. Because there ain't really the places to pull over. The size of these mountains, look. They're just immense, aren't they? I wonder how much one of them weighs. Got to be millions and millions of tons. Huh? 29 mile left to do today. Here, yeah, look, look at that. Snow capped mountains. Alps, baby. It's the Alps, baby. God, we come to a standstill on a roundabout. What's going on? Can't these people drive? Here we go, tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Crazy long tunnels. It's the Alps, baby. Passo de Stelvio. They've only on Top Gear, didn't they? Stelvio Pass. Back when Top Gear used to be good. Got 18 mile left to do today. Beautiful Italy. Start shifting some of this traffic, eh? Getting past this goddamn lorry. Solid two hour video of me looking at the back of the lorry. Happy Friday, guys! Happy Friday! I'm actually gonna stop and get petrol here. Yeah. Super Sensei Piondo. I've got two bars left there. I'm only a few miles away from my hotel. Oh. Bacon. 13 euros. Another Africa twin just went past me. Um, number three, please. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Interesting. Guys just pulled up next to me. Uh, he told me Stelvio Pass is closed. Be interested to see whether it's open tomorrow. Luckily, I'm not doing it today because I'm staying in the town. But the pass itself is closed apparently. So I'm going to find out a bit more when I get there. A lot of bikes coming the other way telling me to turn around as well. Which is kind of them, but my hotel's up here. Still be uh... Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm just heading into the town. Stelvia. That's just where I'm spending the night. Four hundred yards to my hotel. Bizarre. People are just parked in the middle of the road, didn't they? Ah, just been food shopping. Beautiful little town here. Gorgeous little town. Just been in their spa to get some, uh, to get a few beers and uh, something to eat for later. Heading back to Stelvio. Everyone speaks uh, German here. We're in Italy, but everyone speaks German. It's the town they do anyway. So it's the old Danke's again, rather than the Glaciers. Danke, Danke. Yeah, so I'm stocked up for the evening. Luckily, I weren't doing Stelvio Pass today because. It is indeed closed. I just looked it up on the internet. A, uh, there's a race going on. And it's closed, so... Imagine coming all this way to do Stelvio Pass and it being closed. That'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it? Luckily, I'm doing it tomorrow. Lorry 
tree just coming across the middle of the road. Yo! Don't know why it's taking me down there. I'm pretty sure I should have just stayed on that road. Don't know, let's just follow the Pratt nav. See where it takes. Oh no, yeah, that's right, because I remember dropping down here. I must have come through this way then. Beautiful place to get lost anyway, isn't it? This comes down and joins that same road that we, I was just on, down there. So it's a bit of a pointless diversion, really, but hey ho, got plenty of time to kill. Stop. Pretty sure if I just stayed on that road, that I would have ended up here anyway. It'll get you there eventually. Left-hander on this roundabout, isn't it? Going round and round about in the wrong lane. Congratulations. Who goes round and round about in the outside lane? Come on, mate. 1290 Adventure. This is one of these speed cameras, look, on the right hand side there. That little orange box there. That's a speed camera for 50 kilometers an hour. Donkey, Delvio, Gamma Goy. They made that hard work, didn't they? Let's go do this Stelvio pass and. Delvio. My bike started well. Bike's feeling good. Stelvio. Stelvio. Stilfs. A pullover down here somewhere. Punching the old. Uh, can I do it whilst moving? My roots. What is today? 10. Let me just put it in neutral. Day 9, day 10, Stelvia. Ride, ride. Let's go. And we're off. It's 8.26 in the morning. I've only got 88 miles to do today. But it's going to be a good three hours because a lot of those miles are uh, Stelvio Pass, which is obviously backwards, forwards, hairpins, low speeds. So, but this is sort of our rest day. This is our fun day. This is by no means uh, going to be taxing on the body, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect. Uh, I'm going to end up in Switzerland anyway, where I'm going to be for the next three days. Then I'm heading back into France, where I'm going to be for a couple of days. And then I'll be back in the UK. And the trip will be over. Hopefully it's open today. It wasn't open yesterday, there was a cycle race. On. Or a marathon or something. If it's not open, that's when things get interesting. I will then have to find a new route to get to my hotel in Switzerland. That sits out on that sign, but can't speak German or Italian. So, we're just going to head straight up. Look at that, that's gorgeous already. Lovely. Imagine that wall. I bet that wall was clear. Pure water. Water. Hopefully the shop's open at the top where I can buy some uh, memorabilia. So I've literally on this trip bought nothing so far. I got a sticker given to me when I went uh, through the blue for Grossglotner, which is on the front of my bike. Other than that, I've got nothing. Cool. I feel that cold air already. On my sat nav, it reckons it's 17 degrees. I'm seeing a couple of cars coming the other way, at least I know it's open. Geezer's okay, pedalling up here, look. He's got an early start. Wow, look at that view. Look at that, that's proper snow capped mountains. Look. look at it. I have to pull over, sorry. I have to get a photo of that. Alright, Stelvio, here we come. Oh, speed camera. They've got speed cameras on Stelvio Pass. Come on, man. What is it with these Italians? They love a speed camera. Probably even more than England. Well, I don't know about that. Hello, donkey, or whatever you are. 
This looks like a tight one. There's no traffic, so I'll sort of drift over the other side. Climbing into the mountains. Cool, that car was on the wrong side of the road, wasn't it? Keep an eye out for that. Hello. Hello. Definitely the time to do this first thing in the morning. I imagine this place is filled with cyclists and all sorts. Buses, coaches. Stay local to it. Have a nice run up it first thing in the morning. Nice clear run. Temperature's 15 degrees though. It's already dro dropped a couple of degrees. 17 on the ground. Had worse Sunday mornings, I suppose. Have a 1290 Adventure S and a 1200 GS. Porsche, Porsche. This is getting really steep now. Really steep. Probably don't come across on the camera because I've watched videos of it. People going up here. And it is a lot steeper than what it looks like on a video. You're turning uphill all the time. And on a fully loaded bike, It's easier said than done. Whoa, look. That's, look at that, the road's up there. Crazy. Definitely better at turning left than I am at turning right. We're going up there. Look how that, this is actually a parking spot, so. We pull up here and just get a quick photo. Look at that wall, I bet you can drink that. That'll do. Coming up to those right hand turns. Keep as far left as possible. Whoa, that's a long way down. Sorry, I've got to get another photo. Just off the edge there. Help if I took the lens cap off, wouldn't it? Ugh. It's 13 degrees. So it's dropped four degrees so far. I'm surprised I haven't put a toll on this yet. Because, uh, like, Grossglotner was 25 euros. Let's go up. 25 euros. kilometers an hour. Coming up towards the top now I think. Look at that down there. Here we are. Just uh, been on a little spending spree in town. Bought a load of t-shirts, some stickers and, I, uh, and a magnet. Just gonna head back down now. The opposite side. It's 11 degrees at the moment. Oh, we'll get a picture of the snow. Guy taking photos at the side of the road. Eh? Good little business, I suppose. Don't know how that would work. Would he take your uh, email address? That's how an email you him over. So many photo opportunities. Maybe this was one, but I don't think it is now. Good place for a spot of lunch though, isn't it? Eight degrees at the moment on the pop I'm showing on my bike. Eight degrees. Stop for some more snaps. Gotta make the most of it whilst you're here. I don't think I'll be coming here again. Not any time soon anyway. makes a good picture as well. Quick snap. I'm a nightmare with these pictures. Right, no more pictures. No more pictures, he says. That's the mine, nice. Ferrari. They got, they got some nice motors. My brother has got an Aston mine. He should come here and do this. Oh, it's like something out of Lord of the Rings, isn't it? This view. The problem is now I've got the rest of the day to film and uh, my battery's almost dead on my GoPro. It's gone up to 9 degrees now. 
temperature's slowly climbing up. I, I thought I'd make the sacrifice of using the whole battery of my GoPro to film Stelvio Pass. I have got another GoPro, but I think the sound's dodgy on it. I will be filming, but I might not get no sound. Nice place for a pot. I much prefer this side. Oh, look, there's a picture opportunity there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Insane. First of all. <laughs> no more photos, he says. Uh, has this geezer crashed or what? Just lay his bike down in the middle of the road. A waterfall. Look at that waterfall. Amazing. Beautiful waterfall. out of the way. That was poor. That was a poor joke. What is this? It's a tractor, isn't it? Temperature's up to 11 degrees. My ears just popped. Wrong side of the road, mate. It's amber, mate. I'm taking it. I'm taking the amber. These guys have obviously uh, ignored the red light. Come on, mate. This is painful. You can get through there. Oh my god, we're doing six kilometres an hour. Knackered, isn't it? Knackered already. Done a lot better than I would have. Sorry, mate, but this is painful. This. Gonna have to overtake her. About time. Well, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, this is the, my dodgy GoPro, where the sound's dodgy on it. But my other GoPro just died. It's run out of battery. So uh, I've pretty much done Stelvio Pass anyway. I'm gonna hopefully be using this for the rest of the day now. Hopefully, the sound's all right on it. Fingers crossed. My bike has been running beautifully. It almost runs better up there. But 2,800 meters than it does down here. Stelvio Pass completed. How have I ended up behind this again? Bormio. Bormio. I think that marks the completion of Stelvio Pass. So I'm going to save a bit of battery and turn this off. Viale Italia. I'm in a cool little town here in Italy. I think I'm still in Italy. I'll turn the old camera on for five minutes. Right on the roundabout, first exit. It's a red Africa twin. I've seen quite a few Africa twins actually. On the way down to uh, Croatia, I hardly, I hardly saw one. I think I see one on the way down to Croatia. Then of course there was three at the port, waiting to cross to Pag, mine and two others. And then, uh, since then, all through Italy and coming back through the Alps, I've, I must have seen about 30. Prepare your documents, it said there. I must be going through the uh, Swiss border. I didn't think they stop you. Oh, here we go. Italia. Goodbye, Italy. It's been a pleasure. Now we're in no man's land, I think. Hello, Switzerland. I don't know how to say hello in Swiss. Nice, a train track running through the middle of a turn. Always fun. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Look at that. Look at that lake. Love in Switzerland already. That geezer down there in that boat just chilling out. 
got a little canoe which is floating around in the middle of a lake. Oh, imagine if you could do that. A couple of beers, canoe, this scenery and that lake. Perfect combo. Say no more. In Switzerland, heading back towards the mountains on this road for 19 miles. Temperature's dropping down again, which ain't really good news for me. Because my hotel's up here. I don't want to be freezing cold in my hotel. I've been so lucky with the weather. So lucky. I've done both passes in beautiful sunshine. That's where I'm going. Africa twin. Switzerland. <laughs> I love you. And Swiss people, if you're Swiss, why would you ever leave Switzerland? I don't understand. Why would you go anywhere else in the world? It's got it all. Mind you, I've heard it's quite expensive. Don't know yet. This is some road. Road 29, this is. Via del Benia, I'll say it, it says. Bernina. Tell you what, that temperature's dropped, it's 17 degrees again. Snow! <laughs> Bernina Pass. Look at this. Wow. Oh, look at that. How's that for a view? Is it the Berdina Pass or something? To keep note of this. Look at this. Look at that view. My flabber is ghasted. How's this for a road? Riding alongside a train, look. Overtaking around the corner. Stuva Kalani. That's it there. Morning. Just loaded up the old bike. Got my Stelvio sticker on the front there. Um, yeah, I'm in Switzerland, got a 154 mile day today, so pretty easy day. Heading to the other side of Switzerland, basically. I parked in the underground garage down there, which cost me 10 francs. Bella Tolla Euro Camp again tonight, and I'm there for two nights. So we'll see how that goes. Four hours, 48 minutes, it reckons. Oh. 141, so I'll probably be there about 2 p.m. So I'm still going to be an hour early because there's a Euro camp. You can't check in till 3. Look, the last one they actually let me check in. Assume we're going this way. It's, it's that sort of town. Like a one way in, one way out sort of town. It looks like there's some clouds in the distance, so I don't know if I'm going to get a bit of rain today. Oh, scare me, as a waterfall. Yeah, I don't know if I might get a bit of rain today because it does look a bit cloudy in the distance, dark clouds. I need to dive into a petrol station. That one just before it looks like the one. And I need to get one of those um, toll stickers, the vignettes or vignettes or whatever they're called. Because you need one of those in Switzerland. I'm about three or four miles into the ride and it's already like this. Unnamed road is what I'm on. And I'm literally the only person on it. Except for this geezer. <laughs> but it's cold up here, it's 12 degrees. Got the heated grips on. 
and you obviously you can see there's snow. Look at this. Insane. Morning. Look at that view. Uh, that's a cloud there. I can literally see a cloud right in front of me. Look, there's clouds in front of me on this road. Oh, it looks, it looks like I'm going to ride into clouds. Unnamed road. Bet that water's pretty fresh. Stuck behind some sort of a uh, bit of plant up here in the mountains. Looks like they're lifting a rock out of the way that's fallen. Thank you. Oh. Uh, hello. I'm in a town called Masaka. Masaka. Something like that. Classic Swiss town. I need to dive into a petrol station to get a toll sticker. So I'm just about to hit a toll road shortly. But don't fancy getting fined. Sat nav reckons that. There's a uh, petrol station in the next couple of miles. I'll dive into that one. Right on the roundabout. Coming up towards a petrol station. I can see it. See it on the map? There it is. Just an update. As you can see, I'm now stickered up. I'm good to go on the motorways, I think. Just had a 10 minute conversation with uh, a woman that speaks absolutely no English at all, which I wouldn't expect her to in Switzerland. Trying to establish what I was talking about for this sticker. And then she finally, oh, Autobahn, Autobahn. I was like, yeah, cost 40 francs. Which sounds quite expensive to me, but it is what it is, isn't it? I am just about to go, There's, I've got quite a few toll roads today, I think, but it costs what it costs. Simple as that. Simple as that. What is this diversion? Is this even a road? Say right, is it? Wrong turning. Nice route. Sat nav. Why left? Want to turn right tonight? Left's coming back from where I already come from. No, I'm going right. I ain't listening to you, man. I'm not listening to you. Right feels better. <laughs> Turn right. Gonna have to intercept my uh, sat nav in a minute because it's throwing a wobbler. This feels more like it. This feels like the road I should be on. I'm ignoring the sat nav, taking this road. It weren't even a road that was taking me down then. I'm somewhere in Switzerland. My sat nav's having a uh, wobbly day today, but I'm a bit concerned about a little symbol that's come up on the screen, coming up. It's a symbol that I've not seen so far on this trip. It looks like something on water, so I'm guessing maybe like a ferry or something. I don't see why I would be getting a ferry. God knows, I'm just going to carry on rocking and rolling. See what it is when I get there. I'm, I'm in like, mainland Switzerland, so I don't know why I would be crossing a ferry anyway. Maybe it's like a free ferry, it just crosses a little bit of a lake. But I think if I get there and it's that, I'm just going to punch in my uh, campsite and go fastest routes, and it'll probably take me onto the autobahn, which I don't really mind to be honest with you. 
if I get an opportunity, I might pull over and just have a look on my phone, whereabouts in Switzerland I am. I reckon like I've only got 100 miles to go, but it does say it's going to take quite a few hours. Schloin! That sign's still on my screen. I wonder what that is. Looks like a ferry crossing to me. Can you make that out? It looks like a boat. <laughs> 99 mile left to do today, including a boat trip by the sounds of it. Bit of an update, uh, I've just done a bit of research to where I am, well, I'm heading in the right direction. And that little ferry um, thing on my screen is indeed a ferry crossing of some description. Only a small one by the looks of it. It's unavoidable, you can't avoid it. So, we're just going to wing that when we get there. Lord of the Rings or what? I feel like I'm in the Shire. Sort of in mid Switzerland at the moment. About halfway across it. I'll tell you what, they love roadworks out here. There's roadworks everywhere. Developing country. Back in the mountains. Back in the mountains again. This is almost what a picture of Scotland or somewhere to look like. Never been to Scotland. Definitely on my list of places to travel to, since I'm a quarter Scottish. That's what I'm thinking about doing, a UK trip. Climbing the old elevations again. This must be a pass. Just climbing up steep. Oh, picture. I'm up at 2,000 metres again. Uh, Oban, Oban Pass or something. Just got a few pictures next to the, uh, next to the sign. Yeah, I, I didn't realise I was doing this pass either today, but happy days. It is freezing cold up here. It is wintry, wintry cold. I've got my heated grips on. What a beautiful place though. Look at it. 2,046 metres, I think it was. Just take a minute. Take a deep breath and have a look at this scenery and this road. It's crystal smooth road. Snow-capped mountains. What more could you ask for on a Monday morning? Look at it. All right, how's this for a petrol station then? So I have to go language, English, insert card, enter pin. Okay. Remove card. Select your fueling point. And start pumping. <laughs> now I think I'm doing Furka Pass. It says Furka Stolas. Heading up Furka Pass, which is a detour off of my trip. But I'm literally going right past it. It wanted me to get a ferry down there. Oh, I'm here. I've come all this way. So why not do Furka Pass? It's open. Gorgeous weather. A lot of people don't get this opportunity. Whoa, that is high up, man. <laughs> Make yourself legs go looking over the edge there. Whoa. Sorry, buddy. That is high up, man. I'm not a massive fan of heights as it is. As long as I stay on the road, it ain't gonna be a problem. Textbook. Look how high we are. I'd say this is probably the spookiest one so far. I ain't, even, I ain't even up there yet. Definitely stopping up here for some photos uh, when I reach the summit. Hopefully they got some shots with a... Uh, grab a sticker or something or a t-shirt. I don't mind being ripped off again like I was in Stelvio. What is that? It's a fake cow. Little hotel up here. No way, bear, right? No way on earth, man. 
I've done the whole of the pass, I ain't going back. Pratnav's telling me to turn around. Fuck like a pass, baby. These Swiss passes are far better than the Italian ones, so I hate to say it. Stelvio is well overrated. But these passes are a lot better than Stelvio. Stelvio is just like U turn after U turn after hairpin after hairpin after hairpin. You can't even build up any speed. Look at that waterfall. Look at that water look, running off of there. Just put a glass underneath that. You, no, we aren't getting much for us on a chunk of ice in the road. Near in the summit, I think. Look how high up we are. Been going up for a long time. Oh, well, they got hotels up here as well. There must be a sign up here somewhere. Where I can get a snap. Next up. Fuck a pass. some all-time great furs. I like this one. This is a nice one, this Furka. Saturn has still been an idiot. I'm going to do the whole of Furka Pass and then I'm going to uh, see if I can get to my campsite from the other side. I just had a quick look on Google Maps on my phone and it looks like this leads down to the main road that runs all the way back down there anyway. So It just, for some reason, is trying to take me off of this path all the time. I don't know why. Why it would do such a thing. The bike is running beautifully. Runs even better off here than it does down here. I need to live in the mountains. Wouldn't that be nice? Look, this is literally ice. That's literally ice on the side of the road. Belvedere? <laughs> Not quite the same as the Belvedere that I know. Wonder what that is. Some sort of gift shop. Can't be bothered. That looks knackered, mate. Open. I think we got away with it. Knocked a couple of uh, PSI out in the tyre, I think. Don't know if you can hear me because I've got the old dodgy GoPro on again, but the other ones, the battery's dead on it. So, uh, don't know if I'm still on the Furka Pass. I don't think I am, but I'm right at the bottom of it if I am. Look at that. Which is handy, really, because doing that Furka Pass and coming down the other side of it, it looks like I've dodged any ferry crossing. Not that, not that it would have bothered me, but why do a ferry crossing? If you, if you can do Furka Pass instead. Gotcha. That's a go for that overtake then. I don't think I would have got another opportunity. We're now down in the forest. Great road, great road. 10 out of 10. Shame about the cyclists, isn't it? What a road! Hello, just to catch up, I'm uh, 37 miles from my destination, but it still reckons I've got well over an hour. I say well over an hour, I've got just over an hour to go. So this last 36 mile must be uh, must be pretty goddamn slow. Well, it's got to be 30 mile an hour, isn't it? Which would surprise me. Bill, we're in. B-I-E-L. Bill in Switzerland. Classic Swiss town. Been through hundreds of these and I only come into Switzerland yesterday. No, but there's, uh, these towns are very similar in uh, Italy and Austria, places like that. No ended. Here we go. Girl sounds mean. 26 miles to go. Look, rapids. White water rapids. Beautiful. Look at these lakes. I think that'd be a death sentence to go down that one, right? Look at all those rocks in there. Very, very 
very scenic place. I've been quite a few places in the world and to be honest, scenery wise, I think Switzerland takes it, smashes it. It's just got it all, it's got the mountains, it's got the uh, lakes, it's got the rapids, it's just picturesque everywhere. What a day this has turned out to be though. I've done two mountain passes today and neither of them I knew about. I knew it was going to be a good ride because it's Switzerland. Little did I know that I'd end up doing Furka Pass. And I'll tell you what, both of them, especially Furka Pass, smashed Stel Stelvio Pass out of water. Furka Pass beats Stelvio Pass every day of the week and twice on a Sunday, in my opinion. Look at this. Look at this river. It's 27 degrees here. Been so lucky with the weather. It's the name of my campsite, Bella Tola, isn't it? Camping Bella Tola. Is it up here? Bella Tola, there it is. I can see a sign for it. Bella, Bella. Umbrella, Ella. Cool. It's out in the sticks a bit, isn't it? Hoping to see a sign in a minute for the campsite. Oh, what's this? Bella Tola. I'm here. Oh look, Eurocamp. Left. There's the reception. Out there. standing there watching that. Right, off to France we go. Off to France! I wonder what is in store for me today, scenery wise. It's got to be pretty good, right? I'm going from Switzerland into France. I can't remember what I planned. I planned quite a good day today. I've got 170 miles to do today, so pretty easy. Pretty easy mileage. Tomorrow's the big one, I think. It's going to be about 500 mile. Be back home from uh, Bonnell in France to Dartford in Kent in the UK. But today shouldn't be too sad. It reckons it's going to take me f just over five hours today riding, which would land me at the campsite about half past two. Bit of an update 153 mile remaining. I've Gone round about 853 roundabouts this morning so far. It's like being in Milton Keynes. Yeah, not really amazing riding. Scenery is still pretty good. Look, you still got mountains everywhere, but still been in the towns and industrial estates uh, so far today. Hopefully, scenery uh, steps up a bit. Mind you, this is quite nice, riding next to a little river. Not sure how long till I get to France. It's probably about halfway through the day, I would imagine. This is quite nice. Not bad, eh, for a Wednesday. <sighs> My arse is hurting already, which is worrying. So I've only done 19 mile. <laughs> Still in Switzerland, gliding along. Gorgeous little road I'm on. Nice road surface. Starting to see a few bikes, which means it's a good road. Just about to go over roundabout number 900 of the day. Is that a police car in front of me? Bike. No wave. No wave. How rude. St. Maurice. I can tell already the names of the towns are starting to sound a lot more French. I was just in the town a little while ago and I was thinking about filling up because I've got almost half a tank there, which is a stupid rule that I follow when I'm abroad because you certainly don't need to follow it out here uh, in Europe because there's petrol stations everywhere. In America it's a good one to follow. I've done Route 66 last year and you really do need to be looking for a petrol station around half a tank in some places because there could be a long distance between petrol stations 
believe me, it's not uncommon out there to go 60, 70, even 100 mile without seeing a petrol station. I, I want to really fill up in Switzerland if I can, because I've still got quite a few Swiss francs left. Mind you, I've got loads of euros as well, so I brought far too much money for, for this trip. I've got a load of Kuna left as well from the Croatia, because it's so cheap in Croatia. I mean, this is really, this road I'm on now is, believe it or not, like a bad road in Switzerland. And it still looks like this. Yeah. These roads that I was going through uh, that lead up to these passes and that, uh, a couple of days ago, they're unbelievable roads. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, we've got 125 mile left to that. They love a roundabout in uh, Western Switzerland. Best way to ride in foreign countries, if anyone's ever thinking about going to a foreign country. The best way to ride is just forget about the rules really. Follow them yourself, but act like everyone else has forgotten about them. Because people will pull out in front of you on roundabouts and they won't give way to you and stuff like that. There's no point in getting mad about it. Just act like the rules don't apply to them. Like train crossing. Good chance for me to clean my uh, screen. Try and get in the next petrol station as well. So I've just I've just dropped down to two bars. Where's this train then? Oh, is that it right away over there? Here it comes, plodding along. It's more of a tram, isn't it? I suppose. Is it a tram when it's on the uh, when it's got the cables above it? Looks more like a tram to me. God knows. Paraglider. Paraglider! Look at this geezer up here. Paragliding. That must take some bottle, that. Where's he gonna land? He'll land on top of me, by the looks of it. Break a leg, mate. Break a leg. He's gonna land in that field somewhere. Don't know what lake this is, but it's gorgeous. Look at it. In Switzerland somewhere, Avenue de Chillon. It's up there with uh, Lake Garda. Looks wise. Coming out towards some sort of castle here. Chateau de Chillon. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Road needs resurfacing, I know that. Reminds me, reminds me of Dartford one way, so except of a slightly better view. Still in Switzerland, but they very much all speak French now. And riding basically around the outside of this lake for the last half hour. 45 minutes maybe. Got 98 mile left to do today. It says here I'm going to be at a campsite at half past one. That'll be two o'clock by the time I get there. So I'm still going to be a bit early. Same old thing, can't check in until uh, three o'clock. Saint new on my sat nav, that big exclamation mark appeared on it. I'm looking forward to finding out what that is. I might actually pull over and have a look, see what that means. Do it mean something like I can't cross the border or something? Like that border part's closed, even though it's an open border. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know what it means. Just had a look to see what that um, to see what that symbol means, and it means danger zone. Danger zone. What's that supposed to mean? So we find out where we get there. <laughs> Can you see that danger zone? Quick update. I'm now out in the countryside on a beautiful road. I'm not sure if I'm, in, if I'm in France yet, or if I'm still in Switzerland. It feels very French, but I haven't seen a border yet. I'm surprised there ain't more bikes on this road. French border, I think. Here we are. Bonjour. Bonjour France. Je m'appelle Alan. Yeah, this is looking pretty sketchy, man. <laughs> this is just going to take me back on that road there. Yeah, it is, look. That's a nice bit of planning, isn't it? I've built my expectations up quite high for this danger zone, so uh, 
I don't really want to be let down. I'm in the danger zone, it does not feel dangerous at all. It's a really nice road through a forest, as far as I can see. I've just been flashed by a speed camera, I think. It seemed to go off in front of me though. So it might have only been forward facing. Find out when I go back to England, won't we? <laughs> We're back. Just about to enter another danger zone. I'll try not to get it done by a speed camera this time. Jesus. I'm getting hammered by these insects at the moment. It's just one of them cameras, look. Here in eastern France, beautiful little road. Being hammered by insects, but uh, I love this road I'm on. Very nice. Cool, what's happened to that? Evening lads. Oh. Stand up, stretch these legs for a minute. Hello. Gorgeous little town in uh, France, eh? It is sweltering hot, 29 degrees Celsius. I'm sweating it out, officially. Oh, got 13 mile remaining. Oh mate, this is slow, this truck in front of me. One and a half mile out from my camp. I've just seen a sign for it. Val de Bonnel in France. France, cold beer needed. What beautiful weather I've, I've had. I'll say it again, I'm so lucky. Feels good to be in France as well. Feels good to like know sort of a little bit of the language. By no means can I speak French, but you know, I can count to 10 in French. I can uh, say hello, I can say thank you and stuff like that. When I was in uh, Germany and Austria and all that, obviously they all speak uh, German. And I just don't know enough German. I could say thank you. I just could not remember when I got to the pumps and that. I could not remember. And like, don't even get me started with Slovenia and Croatia. I ain't got a chance of that. Bonnell. I'm literally in the town Bonnell. Looking for a campsite. What's that say there? Val de Bonnell camping. That's us, baby. Val de Bonnell. Reception. And there's a the Euro camp there. Happy days. Right, let's play the find the caravan game. I've got a little map there. Down here, I suppose. These are Euro camps. I must be on the... Uh... Again, I'm almost the furthest away possible. It must be one of these. 236. Morning. Just about to leave my last campsite in uh, Bonnell in France. Heading towards England. As you can see, my bike's still cutting out. Luckily, but hopefully for the last time. It's strange why it's doing that, I don't know. There's not going to be a lot to see today. It's going to be mostly motorways, toll roads, motorways, that sort of thing. We'll see how we get on. First things first. I've got to clean that mirror because I can't see anything in it. Bit of an update. Um, yeah, I'm on quite nice roads at the moment. Uh, not got to the toll roads yet, but I can see a toll road uh, sign on my sat nav. I've got my uh, Euro shuttle booked for like 10 to 6 in the evening. At the moment it looks like I'm going to be there about half past 1. Because I left quite early this morning. So I'm going to be a good 3 or 4 hours early. One of two things will happen. Either I'll be hanging around Calais for 3 or 4 hours. Or uh, hopefully they let me get an earlier train. Just coming up towards the uh, toll roads. Or a toll road. A31. Tickets. I have to go in there and we're off. A31. 
IU 31 toll road. Yeah, not very interesting footage, so you, you won't see a lot of it today. Here we go. What's going to be the damage then? It's going to be the damage. Twelve euros. That's a pay by card on that one. Take a ticket. Another ticket here. Right now I'm on this I'm on this toll road now for 157 miles. I'm not working. Yeah, well, why is this not going through? Trust it'll be me where the toll machine breaks. Here's the exit, Tunnel La Manche. This is for um, the Euro shop. So I have to pay another 32 quid because I'm uh, going to get an early train. What's this passport control? Here's where you find out you haven't got your passport. Well, luckily I have. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Thank you very much. Balding straight across. I suppose you just hang about here, do we? Geezer's on the wrong side of the road. Look, we're still in France, mate. Let me just stop here for a bit. Because I'm quite early. Might as well head down there now. I'm S. Motorcycle S. Motorcycles down here. Quite well signposted, so you can't really go wrong. Hello. And make sure you the green light, this one. The second one green right, yeah. Number two, green light. It's basically sit in this traffic light. Sit in this traffic light until it turns green. Can you keep to the right hand side as you're going down the train? Just follow your friend. Yeah, no worries. He's not my friend. He's no friend of mine with a Triumph Flyger. <sighs> God, his panier was so close to it in that open. Just stand down and you've got a skin. Thank you very much. That's it. We've arrived. We've arrived in the UK. Need to remember, left hand side of the road. Here I am, uh, back in my hometown. My trip completed. 2,600 mile UK to Croatia. Traveling through nine countries in Europe. I just want to thank my Africa twin. It's done 2,600 miles through all these different countries. It's kept me safe. It's kept me safe.